regular and irregular polygons. Hello there students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to describe and compare properties of irregular and regular polygons. Let's go! Let's take a look at these figures. We have here two quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, heptagons, and octagons. The first set of figures above are examples of regular polygons, while the second set of figures below are examples of irregular polygons. Now, by simply observing the two sets of polygons, can you tell the difference between regular and irregular polygons? Let's find out. Regular polygon is both equilateral and equiangular. Equilateral means equal sides, while equiangular means equal angles. For example, a square has four equal sides. The tick marks on the line segments show that they are congruent or equal. It means that when one side is 4 cm, the other sides are also 4 cm long. This means a square is equilateral. Also, we know that a square has 4 right angles, which means it is also equiangular. Since a square is both equilateral and equiangular, this means it is a regular polygon. Now, unlike regular polygon, Irregular polygon has sides and angles with different measure. For example, a rectangle like square has four right angles. It means it is also equiangular, but a rectangle has only two pairs of sides equal. One pair is the length. It means that if one length is 5 cm, the other one will also be 5 cm long. Now the other pair is the width which are also equal. It means that if the width is 2 cm, the other one will also be 2 cm wide. Now, even though a rectangle is equiangular, we can see that not all its sides are equal. This means rectangle is not equilateral. Therefore, it is an irregular polygon. Let's have another example. By simply looking at these two polygons, we can say that the first one is a regular polygon, since it looks like it has equal sides and equal angles. While the other one is irregular polygon, since it looks like its sides and angles are not equal. Since this polygon has five sides, we can call this as a regular pentagon while the other one would be a regular pentagon. Let's go to the next one. Which one do you think is a regular or irregular polygon? In the first polygon, we can see that the tick marks on the line segments are the same, which means they are equal. Therefore, it is equilateral. While on the other one, we can see that only two sides have the same tick marks, which means only two sides and not all are equal. Therefore, it is not equilateral. On the first triangle, all angles measure 60 degrees. Therefore, it is equiangular. While the other one has only two equal angles, which is 70 degrees. Therefore, it is not equiangular. Since the first triangle is both equilateral and equiangular, this means it is a regular polygon, while the other one is irregular polygon. A triangle with all sides are equal is called equilateral triangle. Remember that all equilateral triangle is also equiangular triangle. While the other triangle where only two sides are equal is called isosceles triangle. Let's go to the next one. Again, let's find out which one is a regular and irregular polygon. The first polygon has four equal sides, therefore it is equilateral. Also, the second one has eight equal sides, which means it's equilateral. Now we can say that the first polygon has two pairs of congruent angles, but not all are equal. Therefore, it is not equiangular. 
while the second one has eight congruent angles. Therefore, it is equiangular. Now, since the first polygon is not both equilateral and equiangular, therefore it is irregular polygon. While the other one is the regular polygon because it's both equilateral and equiangular. The first polygon is a rhombus. We can call this as irregular rhombus since all rhombus are irregular. Well, we can call the other one as the regular octagon since not all octagon is a regular polygon. Now, let's identify what polygon is being described by the following statements. The first one, a 12-sided polygon where all sides and angles are congruent. Since a 12-sided polygon is a dodecagon and its angles and sides are congruent, therefore it is called a regular dodecagon. Next one, it has four equal sides where all sides form right angles. We know that a polygon with four equal sides and four right angle is called square. Remember that there's no such thing as regular square since all squares are regular polygon. Next, a six-sided polygon with equal sides and equal angles. This one is a regular hexagon. Since a six-sided polygon is called hexagon, and since it is equilateral and equiangular, we call it as a regular hexagon. Last one. A 10-sided polygon where sides and angles are not equal. We know that a 10-sided polygon is called decagon. Since it says that the angles and sides are not equal, therefore it is irregular decagon. Great job, students! Now here are the things that you learned today.